so uh, hello everybody uh, i'm glad to announce uh, the first and the last uh, lecture for this afternoon session uh, so um, uh, Dmitry Novikov from Weizmann Institute of uh, Science uh, will talk about uh, Wilkie's conjecture for Profian structures. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, so as is customary here, I apologize that uh, the talk has nothing to do with trans series <laughs> and dynamical systems. Uh, so, <laughs> okay, so um, I will um, uh, speak about uh, Wilkie conjecture. So let me, uh, uh, okay, so, I will formulate first the uh, Wilkie conjecture. Then I will uh, explain how in what form we exactly uh, prove our general result. And uh, then last part will be about some technical, main technical tool, the Yomdin algebraic lemma. Okay, so. Okay, so Pila Wilke. Uh, so this is probably uh, <clears throat> probably everyone okay knows already, but let me uh, <clears throat> start from scratch. So we have a subset. So first I introduce some notation. So we take X a subset of Rn. We define a x algebraic so it is algebraic part of x it is the union a union of all y's inside x uh, such that y is connected uh, semi-algebraic Break. Uh, and uh, of dimension greater equal than one. Okay, so this is union of all same algebraic pieces, the curves and the uh, surfaces, so on, leaving inside X. And then there is transcendental part, uh, which is the complement. Algebraic. Okay, so these are the first. Okay, now uh, we uh, so uh, we introduce the following notation: x of q h are the all points of. Uh, uh, All rational points inside our set X, such that the height of this point is less or equal than this given H. This is height of okay. Um, okay, we So this is uh, all these points in X such that uh, the <clears throat> field they generate over Q has, okay, uh, okay, G, it's extension of a degree at most G and the uh, H of X. And so XQH is just X1H. Yeah. Okay, so what <clears throat> uh, uh, the Pila-Wilke theorem is the following. We uh, uh, 
So assume that S uh, X is definable. And then uh, uh, for any epsilon greater than zero, there exists some constant, which depends on X and epsilon such that uh, uh, number of points at, uh, okay, X trans uh, of uh, QH, no, okay, uh, less or equal than C times H to the epsilon, yeah? So basically, theorem says that number of rational points inside transcendental part of X is small. So kind of for any given H, there are just kind of finitely many rational points of given H. So we compute asymptotics and this asymptotics is less than any degree of H, sub polynomial. Height, no. Uh, so uh, height of, uh, if I have a PQ, uh, reducible fraction, and this maximum of uh, PQ. Yeah, and uh, for okay, point is coordinate wise, maximum of the heights of coordinates. Yeah. So, <clears throat> um, and in which structure? In O minimal structure. Yeah, in, ah, okay, no minimal structure. <laughs> okay. Um, now, the, uh, uh, there are examples which show that this bound is optimal. So it means that kind of, we can construct some artificial non-natural, I don't know how to, there is no explicit definition of the word unnatural, but you can construct an example such that this is the sharp bound. Okay, the, um, the idea is kind of the feeling, and the idea was that if you deal with kind of natural, kind of well-behaved in some sense, structure S, uh, then the bound should be better. And the Wilkie conjecture is kind of if uh, X is definable in uh, Rx, then uh, number of uh, x trans, Num the same number could be in fact bounded from above by some polynomial which depends on the set x uh, of uh, log h, yeah, okay. Um, so, uh, no, clearly the Rx was taken like, uh, uh, okay, the best possible not semi-algebraic or minimal structure. So this is certainly good structure. So this was the idea that uh, kind of, if something like this holds, it should hold for this. Okay, so what we, okay, so this is, so what I'm speaking about is, a, uh, okay, joint result with Galbin, Yamini, and Benizak. This is an, uh, on archive. So we uh, somehow we proved a more general statement, which in particular uh, implies uh, uh, this. Uh, yeah, good point. Uh, 
No, this is basically my <laughs> our names. So completely not important. Uh, Benya, uh, okay, Zach. Okay. Okay, so the, we proved some more general result, which in particular includes this uh, conjecture. We, <clears throat> the first step is, uh, which I'll speak about, the first part is I'll uh, give some uh, precise formulation what does mean good for minimal structure. And uh, for this good or minimal structure, the theorem will be true. Yeah, so this is some uh, specific subclass of or minimal structures which are better behaving in the arithmetic world. Okay, so, mm, so this is one. Okay, so what is good? It's classical question, okay. Uh, good or minimal okay. So uh, so uh, as kind of as I understand what is or minimal, or minimal means that your sets defined below minimal structure, they have some finiteness properties. Number of connected components finite, kind of uniformly in families, whatever, yeah. So, uh, okay, now what is, uh, we introduce the notion of sharply or minimal structures. Where we, uh, the idea is to make this finiteness effective. So effective. Uh, oh, finiteness. Okay. So example, um, kind of, uh, uh, so in the following spirit, yeah? So example is the following, kind of uh, F is analytic. On uh, interval zero one, so it has finitely many zeros. Yeah, this is finiteness result. What we want to postulate is properties of sharply or minimal, something like the uh, uh, Number of zeros of a polynomial less or equal than degree of polynomial. Uh, so O minimal. Roughly O minimal. Yeah. yeah. So we <clears throat> not only know that it's finite, we can effectively bound this finite number by some characteristic of the polynomial degree. Yeah. So this is, so uh, this is what we want. So the first part is to associate to, okay. So any function set or whatever, you should define some characteristics of complexity, some analog of degree. And uh, then we will consider, uh, okay, structures, Called sharply or minimal, if in terms of this complexity we can bound the finiteness properties, they give explicit upper bounds. This is what we want. Okay, so, uh, so what I do now, I, I start to define the uh, of sharply uh, or minimal. So, okay, so first, okay, now, first we, first step is to define complexity of sets and functions, yeah? So, uh, 
we okay so format degree filtration yeah so omega f d uh, so f d belongs to natural, our natural numbers yeah so we uh, the whole our collection of definable sets and uh, in a, a o minimal structure s so a, a uh, if I write it like this, is it correct? So, no, it's a collection of definable sets. Okay, okay. Uh, with the following properties. So, first, no, first of all, every definable set is in one of them. So, uh, so I, I Identify ominous structure with a collection of all definable sets. Okay. Now the so any definable set receives some uh, format and degree. Uh, second, I want um, uh, that this will be monotonic in both F and D. Yeah, so omega f d inside uh, omega f plus one d, and inside omega f d plus one. Yeah. So this is family is increasing, and uh, uh, the third property omega f d contains sub sets of Rn, uh, only subsets of Rn for uh, n less or equal than f. Yeah? So that the format is at least the dimension of the ambient space, dimension of the space our set lives in. Okay. So the, okay, so every set uh, gets in this way its complexity, which is measured by two natural numbers. Okay. Now, so what we want. Um, from this complex, yeah. So we want this complex to behave naturally in with respect to natural operations, yeah. So, uh, so this is second set of axioms. So, uh, 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 so if we have a, so first, uh, which lies in this has format f and degree d, then. We want to say that mimicking the similar algebraic sets, we want to say that A times R, R times A, uh, all belong to omega of format increased by one and the uh, degree remains the same. Okay, this is first, second. Uh, if we have several uh, sets f uh, d i one k, then if we take union uh, oh. Okay. 
this is kind of one true thing that kind of, uh, okay, let me write the last one, uh, the, not the last one, the next one, kind of normalization of the, uh, if P belongs to the, is a polynomial in N variables, then uh, the hypersurface of its zeros has format N and degree. Okay, yeah. So this is kind of normalizing. And then kind of this becomes kind of clear because if you have hypersurfaces of degree di, then their union is just the hypersurface of the product of polynomial, so you get some of di. Yeah. Uh, no, because. Uh, Because this is for hypersurfaces, yeah. For a lower dimension, degree is kind of this is what you get for degree. So the union does not include the format of intersection of Yes. Uh, no. no. Because it is very easy to write equation for union and quite not trivial write equations for intersections. Uh, okay, and uh, then the whole story was kind of defined for the uh, uh, the last part that the complexity should control finiteness, as is traditional in uh, all minimal business. We write it for one-dimensional sets. Yeah, so uh, uh, four. Yeah, so uh, I can. I, uh, for any format, there exists some polynomial in D. Uh, polynomial, okay. Uh, in, uh, okay. Yeah. R of T. Uh, such that for any, uh, <laughs> for any, a uh, with format f and degree d, which is a subset of R of real line. Uh, num uh, okay, uh, uh, has uh, less or equal than p f of d of connected components. So in uh, ominimal structure, we have any ominimal set has finitely many connected components. Here we have explicit bound f of d should be a higher. Yeah. Okay. So and uh, uh, so what are the examples? So the um, uh, okay, so examples. So we have two main examples. So first of all, we have semi-algebraic sets, and we have a restricted five-n five -ten sets. Both are sharply or minimal. This is kind of classical. More or less by Bizu. Yeah, and then, then no, okay, a little bit more complicated. Uh, now, and this is the result of uh, Binyamini and Vorobyov. Okay, so, and uh, these guys, yes. And uh, certainly this. No. Uh, so what is the, um, mm, 
uh, how what is the moral of the story? Moral of the story that you kind of when you increase the uh, degree of if you have a kind of uh, sequence of sets of the same format but growing degree, the number of Panekka components should grow polynomial. Here you can kind of construct a lacunary series such that the number of zeros will grow not polynomially but uh, as fast as you want. Yeah. So, and this is kind of uh, correct uh, intuition. Yeah. Okay. So uh, now, uh, so when we uh, kind of with this definition, we can just take a close textbook and uh, repeat more or less theorems. Just check the proofs and see that we in fact get effective versions of many theorems. Yeah, so uh, so we get effective action versions of uh, I don't know stratification. Uh, definable choice uh, a kind of let, let me write how the stratification for example looks like so if uh, let x has format f and degree d then okay X is a disjoint union of uh, uh, sets which are uh, as eta are regular uh, connected. And uh, we have effective bound. Yeah, we have number of these stratas. Uh, let's equal then some polynomial which depends on the format, but polynomial in degree of X. And uh, each strata belongs, is, has itself, okay, kind of uh, more or less the format we started from. And the uh, polynomial in F of D. So basically what it means that if we take some classical natural operations, then uh, what we get is kind of polynomial number of pieces and each piece is not very, uh, complexity doesn't grow too much. Okay, now, uh, uh, okay, so there is this, Okay, there is a technical note about cellular decomposition and sharp luminal structure, which I will omit completely. <laughs> so basically, in some rough sense, we have cell decomposition, but not exactly, but sufficiently good for our purposes. So theorem, okay. Uh, Okay, I'll less is better. Okay, so this was the first part of what is good. Second is uh, uh, sharp derivatives. Okay, so we want our, uh, okay, uh, we want that the derivatives of our functions will be uh, not too um, not too complicated. So uh, so first of all, kind of you know that f is uh, definable. Then uh, okay, we can its derivatives also definable. In an O minimal structure, but if you look carefully how you uh, 
what is the formula for the derivative, it includes some extra variables, epsilons, deltas, all this stuff. And so it, you see that you have to work with these guys, which increase the format. And any, okay, so as more you derive, more the format is increased. Okay, now uh, what we want is the following condition. So we say that the uh, this sharply or minimal structure has sharp derivative. If uh, uh, for any format, there exists some constant, some polynomial, such that uh, F. Okay, so what actually, so what we want, we want the derivatives, that the format of derivatives will not grow. Well, degree can grow polynomially with alpha, but not kind of, not too much. So the derivatives are more or less of the same, from the same zoo. So what is the example? What is the example? Uh, <laughs> Huh? What is the k, what is the k doing there? The k does not show up. Uh, no, k is the absolute value of alpha. It's order of the derivative. Order. 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 The form of yeah. The uh, no, yeah. So let me okay example. So suppose we take function which is polynomial in x and e to the power x yeah then okay so this is so it is actually polynomial with two variables restricted on y equal e to the x yeah? so then um, kind of what we if we compute the derivative and this will be p x plus P y times okay e to the x yeah uh, okay. Uh, yeah. so basically what we see is that the degree of the polynomial so what we get is the same transcendental curve just the polynomial which we restrict uh, okay. in this case it doesn't even the degree doesn't grow but in general, kind of degree can grow, but only polynomially. This is what we want. Yeah. So basically, what we uh, say that this is again a function of two variables restricted to the same curve. Uh, what changes only the degree of the polynomial? Okay, and so the this is. These uh, formal proofs that are faf has sharp derivatives. Okay, so more or less, this is uh, the proof. Okay, now the um, uh, finally the uh, 
we can return here. So assume, uh, assume S omega is is sharply or minimal has sharp derivatives. Uh, let x has format f and degree d, then uh, x trans uh, of uh, uh, g h less or equal than polynomial which depends on the format in uh, D, in G, and in log H. Okay. So this is the um, uh, theorem we prove. Now, uh, we know that R prof is uh, Sharply or minimal and has sharp derivatives. So, example is R prof. Okay. Now, um, um, okay. So, this is enough to prove. Okay. So, the So I, yeah. I claim that this one implies, this is kind of short exercise to see that from here follows the Wilkie conjecture. What is the, so I, I'll try to be. More precise, so uh, so so uh, let x x okay. Then by Wilkie theorem on the complement, we see that uh, x in fact is a projection from some big dimensional space of some uh, quantifier free R uh, N uh, quantifier free. Equation equality inequality. Okay. And uh, okay. okay, then uh, kind of uh, uh, what we want. Okay, let uh, y m intersect our set y with a big cube. Yeah. So this guy is in R fab, is restricted to fab, yeah? and moreover, in the, okay, it, they all belong to same class. They all defined by some formula with intersection with this cube, which is kind of fixed degree format. So the intersection is, uh, has formatted degree dependent on F. So now the, Okay. Uh, uh, therefore, x m by n of y m also belongs to the same uh, uh, no, okay, almost yeah. projection f plus f tilde. 
n minus n. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we know that, okay, so number of x m trans of uh, g h less or equal than some polynomial. Yeah. Polynomial of uh, uh, D G log H, yeah, and uh, uh, so, but this bound is independent on M, yeah. So when we increase M, it eventually we'll take all these points here. So, so uh, okay, X trans of uh, G H. Let's say equal supremum over M and we, we are done, yeah? Okay, so we don't know what is the format in the degree because these are format in the degree of Y. So it's how effective is this uh, representation? It's a different question, but at least we know that grows polynomially with log H. Okay, now I have, uh, Okay, so this is for minimal uh, formulation or minimal stuff. Now, what is inside? Uh, so this is now completely, not completely, but this is separate topic. So what, what is the technical tool? So the <coughs> kind of, Tradition, so, okay. Peel of UK and uh, many other similar results were proved by using yongjin gromov parameterization lemma. And uh, our result is no exception. The only, our advantage was kind of crucial, uh, our crucial step motivated by, uh, kind of question of uh, uh, Wilke was, um, crucial step was to throw Gromov away. Okay, so the, uh, so we took the traditional, the initial formulation of Yomdin and generalized it to derivatives of higher order. So let me be more precise. Yeah. So uh, So let me, okay, notation. We say that A is epsilon Benya. How many? <laughs> epsilon equal epsilon subset? Uh, epsilon subset equal, uh, whatever. It's if, okay, is epsilon equal to B if, first of all, if uh, A is subset of B, but B is subset of epsilon neighborhood of A, yeah? Okay, so this is notation. Now, lemma or theorem which we proved is the following. Let uh, X in the unit cube, N of dimension mu, uh, X is definable in sharp low minimal structure and uh, okay, has format F and degree D. Okay, let R in natural number, 
epsilon greater than zero. Then there exists a collection of uh, maps. Phi eta from i of the same dimension of x mu to x such that, okay. Uh, no, first norm of our norm of these maps is s equivalent one. Second, union of the images of phi eta l must epsilon l must cover x. Epsilon cover. Epsilon cover. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, the third is kind of the quantity of bounds. Uh, uh, number of e eta less equal than polynomial of, as always yeah, in uh, degree order ah. order of smoothness and log epsilon and uh, the maps themselves are have format okay comparable with the set itself f okay so what is um a what is new here? So first of all, uh, kind of Yongjin uh, gets some existential bounds here. Now the uh, struggle was, it was kind of well known that the, if you get polynomial here without epsilon kind of the goal was to get a bound which is polynomial and degree of the set and the smoothness and uh, without epsilon. We didn't succeed it. We introduced epsilon, which is kind of, it is known that this, if you have epsilon cover, it's almost as good, as good as essentially for these purposes. Uh, exactly, cover everything. Uh, so, um, okay. Okay, let, let me try. Okay, so the so the key improvement is this: that this one is uh, polynomial, depends on the degrees on smoothness is polynomial. Now the uh, uh, okay, so. Um, um, uh, so why, uh, okay, I'll take, I'll say two words. So first, uh, kind of, how you prove uh, this standard line of proof goes is that you build some interpolation polynomial, and then you prove that it is small from one, from using kind of, because it is interpolating, and uh, then uh, you show that it cannot be too small at rational points because uh, of height bounds, yeah? Uh, and then you conclude that this interpolation polynomial should vanish on a rational point. So from this point of view, kind of if you build a interpolation polynomial which is small on the set, it will remain small on epsilon neighborhood of the set. So this is completely unimportant. In our sense, from other side, we um, to get, uh, so Yomjin initially proved this type of result for his. And uh, Gromov uh, improved the proof and killed this epsilon, covered the set completely, but he uh, somehow spoiled the parameterizing maps. So before Yomjin, where Yomjin had in some sense affined, maps 
you only didn't reduce polynomial functions, which turned out to be hard to work with by the following reason that <laughs> a fine map has second derivative identity equal to the, identically equal to zero and polynomial is not. Okay, so uh, this is, uh, so it turns out that if you use only a fine maps, then you can easily extend everything to R to higher order. Okay, so how much time do I have? Okay. Okay, so let me. <laughs> I have still some number of pages. <laughs> okay, so let me try to briefly prove the Yomdin parameterization result. So, so I'll start from dimension one. Let's see if I'll do it in two minutes. Okay, so suppose I have a uh, uh, a function from unit interval to unit interval, and then I assume that uh, okay, f uh, i are let's say positive on uh, let me call it i on i for i equals zero. Uh, oh, zero is okay. One to, 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 to r plus one. Yeah. So suppose my derivatives are positive up to order r plus one. In particular, kind of all derivatives are a monotone. <laughs> then I claim uh, that I can give an upper bound on the value of the derivatives at some point x, which is less or equal than okay, let's say k factorial. Uh, one minus x to the power minus t. Yeah? So basically, uh, let me draw. So if you're uh, kind of this, um, uh, okay. So proof for k equal one. Yeah. So other uh other the same yeah so my derivative suppose assume f prime of x is bigger than one over one minus x yes at some point x then okay f prime of y will be bigger than one over one minus x for any uh x one yeah so I have, so my function will have derivative bigger than this on this interval, this length. And it will mean that f of one minus f of x is bigger than one. Yes. Bound on the derivative times the length of the interval. And this is forbidden because my image should be here. Yeah? And the same goes for higher derivatives. So this is kind of uh, I'll draw a picture which is uh, this is kind of a finite version of the following result which is not degree. so suppose that all derivatives are positive on the interval for of all orders yeah then what we'll get in, in uh, fact that my function will be not good. So my function is on the interval 0, 1. All derivatives are positive. And functions, then in fact, it will be analytic in the whole disk. Yeah? And then this will be very similar to Cauchy bounds. Yeah? So um, certainly in O minimal structure, we cannot ask for a function to have all positive derivatives, but we can certainly ask for finitely many of them by splitting interval to small intervals, I can ask for derivatives to be signed definite on any. Okay. Uh, what this implies? Let's take phi, which is just 
linear map. Then we have phi uh, k is equal to k factorial. Okay. You see? So we don't. Uh, so in this interval, I have this bound on the derivatives. So by just by linear stretching, I killed all derivatives up to some constant. So it means, and note that you don't need anything except this positivity and uh, zero one. Okay, and so we parameterize this by one map, then we take another half here, then another half here, and all these maps, yeah, so phi, phi two, uh, zero one, t goes to one half plus t over four. So each time I eat half, so it means that in n, by n maps, I cover everything except epsilon neighborhood of this, of the right hand side, where epsilon is two to the power minus n, yeah? Yeah, which is exactly number of fees uh, log two epsilon, yeah? So this is, and you see that this procedure is completely automatic, doesn't need anything from the function. Okay, and uh, then you uh, do multi-dimensional case, but probably not today. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, probably I can say what, what Gromov did. So you see uh, this, you look on this and you see that this is kind of you feel that this is piecewise linear approximation to something. And Gromov understood that this piecewise linear approximation is to x square. So it means that kind of, instead of taking infinitely many of these guys, you can take one x square, which is not affine anymore, but it will kill everything in the order. But, uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions and comments? <laughs>